Jakarta, Indonesia. A city of nearly 12 million people, Jakarta is the political, economic, and cultural capital of Indonesia. Here, a small but influential Chinese community plays an important financial role in the city. Many of these Chinese looked to Christianity after an economic setback in the late 1990s. In 2003, a group of lay people felt a burden to reach out to the wealthy Chinese population living in Jakarta. Not knowing how to begin, they did what they knew how to do. They started praying. They tried a variety of methods with limited success. A Chinese church leader suggested the health message would touch the lives of the affluent members of society. Once again, the group turned to prayer. They found a four-story building with enough room so they could start a center of influence where they could invite people from the community. The Jakarta Conference helped with the rent for the first year to help get them started. On the first floor, they started a health food store to supplement the rent for the building. The second floor is a lecture hall or classroom for the public, and the third floor is a worship room that could eventually house a new group of believers. The top floor is the most important room in the building, the prayer room. Here, the prayers for the ministry filter down to each of the levels below. The group then felt led to start a radio program about health, which airs on a local radio station. The radio program was well received. They invited listeners to a health seminar in their new building. When the first guest came, the members were so excited, God was blessing their ministry. Leong Pit Lin conducts health seminars twice a week at the center. A cancer survivor, she has had three types of cancer. Many people who attend the health seminars were sent there by their doctors who gave up on them and suggested they go to the center for help. Center volunteers partner with each guest, calling them every day to give support and to pray with them. The health message is a very effective tool for evangelism. I meet various types of people from the middle and upper classes, including intellectuals, physicians, pastors, and writers. Many have asked me, what is your religion? And I share with them and invite them to join us for the Sabbath afternoon Bible study. Currently, the Chinese Ministry Center, as it is called, is self-supporting and reaches more than just the affluent Chinese in the city. It reaches all socioeconomic members of the society. When I feel down because of the huge challenges I face, just seeing the many people who are thirsty for the truth encourages me to continue to witness for Him. People are attracted to the center of influence because of the message that's presented there, and that is how to live healthy, but not only physically, but mentally and spiritually. And so they are hungry, hungry and thirsty for that information. The ministry has grown to include four centers with 60 to 100 visitors on a regular basis. Each center is supported by two to three area churches and is lay driven. Three of the centers have regular organized congregations that meet there, and one of these churches had the highest number of baptism in the conference for the year. Once a person is baptized, they are given a job to assist the ministry and integrate them into the faith. The Sabbath church services are packed with visitors, and the services include time devoted to united prayer. By humble means and simple and varied methods, God is blessing them as they mingle with people, sympathize with their problems, minister to their needs, win their confidence, and point people to the Savior. They have plans to build a health education center where they can train more health and Bible workers to expand the ministry. They have found some land, raised some funds, and still need to raise more in order to make this dream a reality. Your prayers and offerings will help make this possible.